This is why you should never give up on the plans of God. Leave my house, you church girl. Every month you pay your tithes, but common rent you cannot pay. But, but what? Don't but me hear Grace. Listen, Grace, I don't want to see you when I get back from work today. But where did you want me to go to? I don't care. Just go, you are not useful to me, but useless. Very useless. Just go and look for something better. Ah, this is not fair, Hilda. I have nowhere to go. Please, I don't care. This cannot be happening. I better go in and call Nicole. I hope she can help. She rushed inside to call her friend, but she wasn't picking up. Where did I go wrong? I feel like giving up. I can't believe my best friend would ask me to leave her house. For how long? For how long will I keep chasing my dreams? All my friends are making it in their respective careers and businesses, but I am here trying to get on my feet. Lord, you told me you will help me. I need you to help me achieve my dreams. I can't achieve this on my own. Please help me Lord. Help me Father, I need you now. Kathy sat in her bedroom, thinking over all that had happened in the past few days. Her mind was filled with doubts, she had put so much effort into her dreams, and yet each attempt seemed to end in failure. I better pack my things and leave this house before my friend Hilda gets back. I am tired of the way she humiliated me just because, I am yet to get a job, after I lost my previous job to that immoral boss that wants to sleep with me. I can't believe she insulted me in front of her friends, just because I couldn't meet up with my own quarter of the rent last month. Grace had always been an ambitious person. Growing up, she had big dreams of success. Every day she worked hard to make those plans a reality. But each time, the obstacles seemed insurmountable. Each day that passed with no progress felt like another failure. This time around she felt even bad the way her struggle is affecting her life, relationships and friends. Her friends see her as a failure when she refused to have an affair with her boss, who happens to be one of Hilda's investors. He asked Hilda to help him get Grace to sleep with him, before he invest his money in Hilda's bank. But Grace refused the offer. Because of this, she asked Grace to leave her house. God, please bless me with a good job and a great pay so that, I can pay my own rent comfortably, and even pay the rent of others. Amen. As I leave this place, Guide my feet to where I will be great and be successful in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. She quickly booked a taxi to take her to a friend's place, in the neighboring town, close to the city. Is there any other luggage? No, thanks. Okay, please get inside the car. She asked the driver to take her to a friend's house in the city, on getting there, things got even worse. Thanks, please get my bag from the boot. Okay. Thanks ma, bye. Bye. I hope she's at home. <laughs> Wait. Someone is at the door. Are you expecting anyone? No I am not. Let me look through the door. She looks through the pigeonhole, and noticed that the person at the door, is her born again friend, Grace. She quickly went back into the room, to inform her boyfriend who the visitor was. What? No. You can't let her in here, Nicole. Oh gosh. Okay. I won't let her in. I just feel sorry for her. At least, she should have informed you that she was coming. I actually discovered that she sent me an SOS message. But I didn't get to see it until now. Well, you can't let her come and ruin my visit. That's fine. Oh my god, why is she not opening the door? It's like she's not at home. I better go and get something to eat, then I will come back to check on her. Where do I keep my luggage now? I be better put it at her backyard. It should be safe there. She quickly went to Hilda's backyard and dropped her luggage there, then, she went to look for a place nearby to eat. You most pay, I don't care if your wallet is stolen or not. Okay, can someone follow me to my office? Why are they embarrassing the man like that? Stop embarrassing me. Come on lady, this is not the first time I am eating here. I am not who you think I am. Greg, get the manager. Quickly. Okay, please, let me go. 
I have a meeting to catch up with. I will pay you double when I return tomorrow. Please. No, you must pay for your bills, sir. What's that for? Please. Believe me. I got robbed in your shop. I went to use the toilet, and I forgot both my phone and wallet. By the time I was back, it was gone. Kindly check your CCTV. Please. Greg, hurry up before he runs out. Hey, why are you harassing him like that? He even refuses to pay his bills. Really, but he just explained to you why he cannot pay. Exactly my point. I was robbed, and they don't care. That's fine, sir. Listen, I will pay his bills. How much is it? 150 pounds. I will pay by card, please. She paid for the stranger and this happened. Thank you. You can go, it's sorted. Wow, I am so grateful. I don't know how to thank you. Thanks so much, I am so grateful. That's fine, I will be leaving now. By the way, how do you go to your office when you don't have money on you? No, that's no problem, I came with my car. Okay then, have a great day. Okay, thanks once again. Please, wait. Yes, what is it? Sorry, my name is Jerry, what is your name? Oh, sorry, I am Grace. Nice to meet you Grace. You are indeed a godsend to me today, if not, this people will make me miss my meeting. Come to think of that, won't you be going for the meeting? I thought you said you were running late. Oh yes, but I still have like 10 minutes. So I don't mind dropping you off. Never mind, Jerry, I will not like you to be late for an important meeting. Please, I will find my way. Okay then, can I please get your number? So at least I can call you sometime, to pay you back for your kindness. I didn't help you to expect something in return. Please, I insist. I just want to appreciate you. Okay, fine. Grace and Jerry exchanged their numbers and they both went their separate ways. I just hope Nicole is back home. Because, she's my only hope in this town, especially now that I have used my last money to sort out Jerry. But, how come she read my messages and she didn't reply? Lord Jesus, please, don't fail me on this one. Ah, that was a long walk. I never knew her place is quite a distance from the restaurant. Why is inside her house so dark? Does it mean that, she's not back? Let's see. Oh my god, it seems she is not home. Oh no, what do I do now? It's so late and quiet, no one outside to help. I better knock on her neighbor's door, I just hope they can help me for just tonight. I better knock, it's so scary out here. While she was about to knock on the door, this happened. Hello. Oh, Jerry, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Grace narrated everything to Jerry, he felt so sorry for her and decided to help her. He told her that he came to meet his lawyer who was handling a business case for him, he decided to lodge Grace in an hotel that night and he promised to visit her the following morning, to see how he can help her achieve her dreams. Where is this place? It's a lodge, and I know you will like it. I like the environment. It's very beautiful. Wait till you see the inside. It's awesome. Wow. I can tell from the outside already. Thanks for lodging me here tonight. I am indeed grateful. I should be the one thanking you. Go inside and freshen up. Sleep tight my dear, I will come and see you tomorrow. Good night. Wow. God you amazed me sometimes. How would I ever think that, someone I helped, with my last dime, will be the same person, to come through for me, in a town where I have nobody. Wow, look how comfortable here looks. 
so beautiful. Thank you Jesus. Grace thanked God and committed all her plans in God's hands. She asked God to help her and give her the strength to keep pushing forward no matter what. In that moment, she was filled with faith and renewed optimism. The next day, Grace peered out of the window and noticed something. The sky was lighting up with a beautiful sunset and a rainbow. In that moment, she felt a wave of hope wash over her. She suddenly knew that even though things may not seem to be going the way she envisioned, God had great plans for her. I have decided that I will never give up on God's plans. Even if the path I thought the Lord would take me on, is shrouded in uncertainty. I will rather pray and pray until my breakthrough comes. She took a deep breath and began to pray. I trust you, O Lord. I see your mercy upon my life, as they knew every morning. And I am indeed grateful. Yes, who's it? Are you there? It's me, Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Hi, good morning, please come in. No Grace, that won't be necessary. Can you please come with me, let's go for breakfast, then I have a surprise for you. Oh, really? Yes, please. He took Grace to the finest restaurant in town and this happened. Please have a sit, I have something to tell you. Okay, thanks. I will like to tell you more about myself. I am Jerry Anderson. Wait a minute, that name rings a bell. Are you the CEO of Erm? The Guru, ABC, Techkind and MCX Limited. Oh yes, but those are my small branch limited. The major companies I have is in the city, and that is why I have brought you here. Me, to do what? Last night, after listening to your story and the struggle behind your story, I feel I am in the best position to help you. You are joking right? No Grace, throughout last night, I was awake, and thinking about you. I was thinking about, how you helped me, with your last dime. So I thought to myself, why can't I help you and make your dreams come true? So here's the plan, from today henceforth, you are working for me as the new general manager, of my capital pension head office, in the city. With a seven figure salary, a house, all paid holiday expenses and a car. Oh my god, wake me up, am I dreaming? No you are not, it's real and you deserve it. Grace life changed overnight, as she moved back to the city, as the general manager of one of the biggest firms in the city. The following week, she visited one of the branch offices under her service and this happened. Hello Miss Grace, my name is Robert and it's my honor to welcome you to our great company. Thanks Robert. Please come with me, let me take you to the office of the MD, he is expecting you. Grace followed Robert to the MD's office, and was shocked to see a familiar face. This made her even more grateful to God for his blessings upon her life, then this happened. Ah, Grace, what are you doing here? Wow, interesting, look who we have here. Wait a minute. Are you the person I am expecting? Hi ex-boss, it's good to see you again. Oh no, this is not happening. What's not happening? Please Grace I am so sorry for what I did to you in the past. Oh, you are sorry? Wow, clap for yourself for acknowledging your wrongdoing. Well, I am not here to sack you, or to judge you Mr. Teddy. I am here to work, and you are meant to work too. So, please, sit down. We have a lot of work to do. Grace forgave his ex-boss, and showed him an example of what a good boss is, he felt guilty but was led to Christ by grace. She went on to make strides in her career and find personal success. Even when the path seemed arduous or overwhelming, her faith gave her the courage to never give up. She and her ex-boss both worked so hard as team to bring out the best of the company, this really impressed Jerry, that he started having feelings for Grace, few years later, he asked Grace out, and they started dating, then a year later, he proposed and they got engaged then, got married the following.
Ori by Quincy Onyakachi Okoi Oragwa. If you enjoyed this video, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button, leave a comment and don't forget to share. Thanks for watching.